Hello everyone, welcome again. So, I just saw some nice background images. So, I'll just search background uh, polygon or something. Great. So, I thought, is there a easier way to make this in Inkscape? And I said, let's figure it out. And I found a nice tool, which is called Sculpt Paint Brush. And yeah, that's what we are going to use. Instead of selecting every triangle, <coughs> selecting every triangle and giving it a specific color, you know, for each individual one manually. So that's a waste of time. Instead, we are going to use an better way to do this and this is how we do it we create a bunch of circles we use an extension so we have we can draw some lines between all these circles and thus we have some triangles and then we end up with all of these triangles and then we use this sculpt paint brush here and paint colors Yeah, like so. So let's start. Let's delete everything. Start from zero. I usually start with the background. I mean, I always do. Pink. I don't know why I chose this color. But let's keep it there. A small circle. Circle. And a different color. Actually, even smaller. Alright. With this circle selected, I want to use the spray brush by the way. I don't want to manually duplicate Ctrl D and move Ctrl D. It's a waste of time. A better way to do this is to select this circle, grab it, keep holding it, and s uh, press the spacebar. Very fast, yeah? But no, thanks. I want to do it in another way. I want to use the spray. This spray brush, use these settings. Be sure this is enabled and this is disabled because I only want to spray on this object. Otherwise, it will all spray all. Over the place. As you can see, if I. No, it doesn't spray. If I go inside, yes. Outside, no. This is what this does. Uh, I don't want to have any overlapping. So just enable these two. No rotation random nor scale randomness. Just simple. So, uh, triangles, a lot here, a lot there, and perfect. So, to get a better result, actually, first let's just select everything, Control Shift C to convert everything to path. I don't want to keep them objects or clones as we had before. Um, here, by the way, if you missed it, I was spraying clones. But they are no more clones, they are normal objects. With this selected, I wanna open that here. By the way, I'm using. Oops, where are you going? Where did I go? Okay, I'm using uh, snapping. Just do what I'm doing. Snap here. And uh, by the way, I'm dragging this object and pressing the spacebar. Uh, uh, the reason why I'm adding circles in here in the edges because I want to have a perfect result. I want to have gaps here, so that's necessary if you want to have a good result. Or you could just keep it messy and then uh, just create a rectangle over it and use a clip instead. This way you won't waste a lot of time. I mean, I didn't waste that much of time. I selected everything. Hold Shift and deselect the the uh, background. Now I'm only, I'm only selecting the circles. And with these circles selected, oh no, again. I mean, not again. I want to go to the extension that I told you about. 
generate one path and the extension name is Vernite Diagram Delonite Triangulation and keep the rest the same as I have default life preview and let's hope we have some nice results good great apply close control G because I have all the circles still selected so I group them and just move them out hold alt by the way if you don't want to miss select the circles so I'll hold alt and select whenever wherever I want as you can see but I'm still selecting the circles move this away probably you need this later you know what I don't need this uh, now we have this group of triangles we don't want to have strokes so let's let's actually give it a fill color here I mean you could use fill color here strokes no thanks As you can see we still have some lines here some strokes but I don't have strokes obviously so the problem is that this is a known issue that um, vector editors uh, have or has I don't know so this is a known issue in the vector editors to avoid this you need to duplicate your uh, thing here so as you can see now we don't have it anymore so two duplicates are enough but I don't like duplicating because if I change the original um, back uh, whatever we have here the other will stay the same as before and that's not good instead I would press alt D to create a clone move it here and alt D create another clone and there you have it make sure these clones are overlapped move them here and then this one before you move it I want to make sure it's on the top of everything great so just to make sure select everything align them correctly here last selected which is hopefully this one and um, center vertical and horizontal excellent now just deselect the yeah, outside and select this one which we will work on use the scope paint brush that we talked about make sure all these are enabled even though this ain't work working uh, in our situation at least the force and the width the force is a little bit lower because I think the lower the more control we have so I, I will cover this brush in the next tutorial it's so like a random brush and uh, be sure we are in the fill color it's a cool brush by the way you just give it a try uh, you can control whether you want to change the hue saturation uh, lightness opacity which is not working for now maybe I'm missing something I don't know so I use this to change the color as you can see when I choose this I am unable to change the color of this object because I'm changing the color of the brush that I'm going to use to paint this object like so so what I do I don't want to go out here and change the color because I always change the colors Oops. so I simply go here and change the color here there with this brush I go back to the next brush and then choose my brush color that I want to use and as you can see I'm not adding this color and the reason is because I disabled this we'll make sure that I'm using the saturation uh, the hue sorry there you go now it's working great now it's up to you to use as many colors as you want or as much colors I don't know I don't know vocabulary or grammar whatever I'm not a native speaker, English speaker, so don't blame me. Okay, I'm already giving you a huge. Uh, <laughs> it's 
move on. Um, so yeah, you can change the colors. You can make the strength even 100% higher, which is yeah. I don't like it to be very high because I want to have some gradient effect and. Yeah, so let's keep the first lower to 20. Now add, add like 25. Now choose your color. Paint. Choose another color. Paint again. Choose a decent color, not like me. Hmm. Let's add a bit of a little bit of orange here. Cool, isn't it? Green, no? Anyways, it's uh, it's up to your imagination or of your ideas. Perfect. So I don't want to waste your time anymore. I mean, any longer. So just uh, give it a try and make something cool. There are obviously some other brushes that I didn't cover. Probably cover in the next tutorial. Let me know if you want to. Like this brush. No, this did nothing. Give me a second. Yeah, like this brush. Gives you a nice uh, hole effect. I like this brush. Now, if I select the pink background that we had before. White or black. Get this nice result. Isn't it awesome? It obviously is. So, see you in the next tutorial, hopefully. I hope this was helpful. And, yeah, take care.